From my point of view, he's a competition like everyone else. We're all motivated to do the best we can do. Chest up, come on. Welcome back to the main game. Being on the other side of the camera and then to live it feels pretty strange. My foot's fucking on fire. It's fucking so hot. Ah. Oh. It's great fun to just be in New Zealand for my job. Yeah, I'm good. No, <laughs> no way. Three, two, one, bye. recently taken up residence here after moving back from uh, from Europe last year. It's been a pretty big move, uh, you know, packing your life up on one side of the world to, uh, to bring it back here. Lots to fill, lots of space to fill and lots of things to go out and buy. He is actually a bit of a clean freak. The house always has to be super tidy. I get in trouble a lot for making mess. He is the tidy one out of us both. Lean back, chest up, chest up. Come on, three more. And done. Okay. Stay there in that position. Since moving back to the Gold Coast, I've started training with uh, Paul Haynes, who's strength and conditioning coach at Griffith University for most of the athletes. All up, you'll train about five or six days a week consistently, uh, usually Sundays off, and that's a combination of, of conditioning, uh, weight training, and also recovery. I like that extra push. You know, we're all motivated to do the best we can do, but when you've got someone there that's probably two times, three times fitter than you, uh, you don't really have anything to answer back with. So, no, he's a, he's a great motivator and, and I'm really enjoying working with him. Yeah, that's it, nice. Five more, three. Cool on. Porsche offer this great motorsport pyramid where you can start in your local nation, uh, as it was for me here in Australia, and GT3 Cup Challenge, then Career Cup, and you know, have the opportunity to go overseas and you know it worked out and I obviously impressed the right people at the right time and I was rewarded as the Porsche Junior for 2019 and 2020 so you know with that it uh, involved moving overseas you know got to race on some of the most iconic circuits in the world and you know as a support category for Formula One which was amazing and still contracted to Porsche compete in the FIA World Endurance Championship uh, with Patrick Dempsey's team and Proton competition so you know it felt like this opportunity that came up to come back here and, and race supercars was was too good to say no to but um, you know still still keeping those doors open for for any possibility of going back and you know returning with them. Having another Kiwi as Jackson and the team's great. You know, we'll do what we can to help him, but at the same time, um, from my point of view, you know, he's, always, he's a competition like everyone else. Since I'm joined this team, you know, I've, I've been very happy with my job, and that obviously flows into your home life. And obviously, um, met um, Gemma a few years ago, and everything's been going so well. Had a little baby girl, Summer, and she's just the best. So it's been it's been great for me to go through that journey. So I've, I've recently moved from Gold Coast to Perth, so a bit of a controversial one. Everyone's like, oh, that's so far away, but um, if you actually sit down and look at the calendar, it's not that far away. You know, when you don't have support, it's very hard. And, you know, there's a lot of pressure on both my partner Gemma and me. I think it will allow pressure to come off my shoulders a little bit more and to be able to be more immersed in the race team. Really looking forward to getting some laps under the belt. You know, my first test day as a main game driver, uh, fairly new to the team. Test days change, there's different uh, objectives, but certainly my first one is about, you know, sort of, sort of understanding how the cars operate, how the team operates, you know, going through some processes, practicing pit stops and things like that. First initial thoughts, you feel comfortable? Yeah. Yeah, we'll go again. Okay. Sorry, bleeding tires and rear right hard up. Yeah. Been a good day for me. First time back in the supercar since Bathurst last year and different driving styles and things like that. You know, slight changes and, and fine tuning to make me comfortable and uh, you know hopefully we'll continue to learn and, and come race time we're uh, somewhere close to the front. Yeah, so I started racing motocross at the age of four. I grew up on a farm and I couldn't race speedway like my dad until I was 12. I bought him a paddock fetcher, uh, an old car, 
uh, teach him to drive. Couldn't even see over the steering wheel, so, <laughs> so I took him out in the hay paddock one day and showed him how to do some drifting. So he was motoring on the hay paddock and I pulled the handbrake on. He was doing about 360s down the <laughs> down the hay paddock. So it was the, the look on his face was priceless, but it was probably the worst thing I ever taught him. <laughs> yeah, I ultimately started watching a lot of supercars and F1 on TV and uh, yeah, made the switch to karting at around 14. Yeah, won the F4 championship, won the F3 championship, and then I'd won a race in GP3 on my debut. Got the chance to, uh, to race in GP2, which was probably, yeah, not really expecting to be able to race at that level. Had a back injury, which put me out for a whole year, and kind of, I think that's really what closed the door on F1 for me, because by the time I'd recovered, from that back injury, the source of funding that I had was no longer there. The idea of being back down at this part of the world where I'm from, and it's only a you know three-hour flight back to New Zealand, and yeah, the rest is history. I've you know been hanging around ever since. Richie Stanaway has never had a podium here before, and he's now a great race winner. co-driving last year, I still felt like I was too young to um, be a co-driver for the rest of my life and having already won Sandown and Bathurst and, and knowing that I hadn't really had the chance to reach my full potential. 2018 and 2019 just didn't go to plan and yeah, I just feel like, yeah, I've got a lot more to give and um, yeah, definitely want to try and, and win a sprint race. So. Um, yeah, it's good to, to be back now racing full time. What a brand new and exciting season is ahead of us. The Repco Supercars Championship of 2024. Oh, Stanaway, he's gone into the fence somewhere. It's damaged left side of the car. Park it, park it, park it, park it, park it. Just pushing too hard, too early. Um, it's unfortunate because I went into the session with the, the mentality not to really attack the session at all and just build up to it. And then well, next thing I'm in the fence. So um, yeah, it was disappointing. It's unfortunate, but it doesn't look too bad. We'll get it back out and get it back on track a bit later on. Plenty of drivers, plenty of teams, all really looking forward to this fresh start. Next up, we'll have Richie Stanaway. He's got a full-time ride now with Penrite Racing, a fast Kiwi. Unfortunately, a bruise on the car yesterday. Okay, mate, everything's looking really good back here. Have yourself a couple of deep breaths, tighten the belts, and go have some fun. Never done a shootout lap around Bathurst before. I reckon I've probably watched every supercar session that I haven't driven in. Full commitment over the top of the hill. Hops it up onto two wheels at McPhillamy. Ooh, that's good. Yeah, to finish a shootout lap and then have the commentary team come over the radio, it's like, well, that feels pretty weird. Let's see what Richie's number looks like at the end of it, and it is a six. Richie Mark Scaife, were you happy with that lap? Yeah, fairly happy with the lap, just obviously not sure. Uh, what the track rip is like, so uh, keen to see how everyone else goes. Good job. Good luck this afternoon. Thank you. Being on the other side of the camera and then to live it feels uh, pretty strange. Solid lap. Yeah, thanks. The wait is over. A brand new season of supercars is here. And this year, it is anyone's for Good. the taking. Welcome back to the main game. Hey. Okay, mate. Be plenty of breaks in. The 2024 championship is wide open and gets underway. Within one second of Reynolds down. Let's go up there and pass him. Great work, champion. It's working out really well for us. See you on the exit. Not a locksmith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was an odd speed trace at this stage, they both went deep. Ah. Richie just got away with it. The locksmith. The locksmith. 
check it flag, job done. Red Bull Ampole Racing for Brock Feeney and for Will Brown. Strong recovery also for Richie Stanaway when you consider that he was in the fence in practice one yesterday. Yeah, mate. Well done. Good start. It's my best ever race result as a primary driver in a, in a sprint race. So to do that after so many years off, um, yeah, can't be too disappointed with that. What a beautiful day it is down here on the grid at Mount Panorama. A gorgeous summer day. Yeah. Oh, have fun. Can Mostert spoil the Red Bull story that's been so strong so far? And the answer to that off the jump is yes. He's put power to the road, grabs second gear, and he shoots it off to turn one in the lead. And up on the outside is Golding. Golding's done a great job, but we've got trauma at the back of the pack. Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah, okay, I didn't see that. Awesome. On board now with Andre Heimgartner. And the fast Kiwi, Jackson Evans, has also done a nice job now. He's up nine positions from his qualifying performance. He's currently in 15th. This battle continues. Now, Jackson Evans has let Andre Heimgartner go. I think he just passed him. There's 20 laps to go here, mate. You've still got two seconds of more fuel than Andre ahead, so keep in touch with him, mate, and make it up the next stop. Box the slap, please. Box the slap. Oh, fuck. This is fucked us. Feels like the throttle's not burning my foot. You say the throttle's better on my foot? Oh, did he? Burning his foot. Oh, okay. My foot's fucking on fire. It's fucking so hot. Get a bucket of water for when he gets out. Or clear air or help, you know, tell him. I did that, I just said that. Yeah, I know, but yeah. reminding him, right? Yeah. It is fucking painful. Yeah, I know. I've got a bucket of water there too, but that, yeah. that wrap around with the gel, yeah. that burn yeah. will sink. Two more to go, mate. Two more. Have a go? Yeah, I think it's went off. I think it's been damaged. Ah! Oh. We've got damage. Can we do one more lap? He's, he's leaders on the last. He can't come the in. Leaders on the last lap, mate. Can we do one more lap like this? Yeah, the vibration's way too bad, so I'm coming down, but I can't go any faster. He's going to have to stay out, mate. Do one more lap like this, mate. Otherwise, we won't be able to finish the race. The lane will be closed. That's so funny. I just got a bit out of shape. I was very upset with myself. I think for the conditions, for the pain that I was in, probably not the right mindset of, I'm gonna try past these guys on the last two laps. Uh, and, you know, caught myself unstuck, but uh, you know, it's a mistake that I'll hopefully only make once and I'll learn from it and, uh, you know, move on from there. Yeah, coming back, obviously doing all the promotional stuff's really cool and, it's uh, yeah, it's it's, a, it's great fun to just be a, be in New Zealand for, for my job. Hey guys. Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you Good. Come on in. I think it's going to be great. It's something very different. I think when people come to New Zealand, obviously you know, any of us that have been to Talbo know that you know it's not just going to be about the racetrack. It's going to be about all the things that are around it. Yeah, I've been watching the breakfast show far out since I was like. Probably, I don't know, seven or eight, just so I could understand it. And understand yeah, the world. I didn't think I'd be on a breakfast show anytime soon. But it's cool. Here we go. All right, <laughs> George Farno, we've got a very special guest in the, in the studio, Tammy Davis. Don't That's we? right, Ryan Wood, supercars this year, mate. Gone from rookie to the big game, buddy, the big dance. Well done. Congratulations, mate. Thanks, boys. I appreciate it. So we're in Mount Monganui. I was born in Rotorua about 45 minutes away, uh, and then I moved here for high school. Most days I'd, I'd run around the mount and walk up it and run along the beach. It's always been a, a big focus on, on training here because it's just such a good place to, to come and work out. The Peter Brock Trophy's never been in New Zealand before, so it's quite cool to bring it across the ditch and uh, yeah, have it, have it back here in my hometown. 
yeah, I guess it makes all those training sessions that I've done here over the years feel worthwhile. No, there's no way I could do any of this stuff. Are you sure? <laughs> What's no, the I swing? No way. God, oh, you guys really are human, eh? It's I, I am definitely. What's the swing? For the swing, just. Yeah, no, I'm alright, eh? If not? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> no. no way. <laughs> Can you do a tandem swing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah. you fellas, if you want, you we'll can go do together. Swing together. <laughs> Let's do a mat. I'll cut you out. <laughs> yeah, just bring out a standing knife. Huh? <laughs> Where do you go for a nervous wee? I'm not nervous, I'm just asking for Andre. <laughs> Alright, so heels right on the edge there, dude. It was fine until you got, I got right to the edge of it. And then it's like right there, you're like, ooh, this is starting to get a bit real. <laughs> cool. Alright, so we're gonna commit to it, alright? We're ready? <laughs> seems, like a good, seems like a good idea when I was back you're gonna there. Go, you're gonna go out like a little bit more so you can get that like launch, okay? Okay. And you're gonna go into a flip. You know how to, you, you, you've seen it before, right? In a video. I've seen it, but. Okay, here we go. I don't know if Study I can do it though. Alright, here we go. I don't, I don't know about the front. <laughs> can I just jump? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you ready? Yeah. Alright, here we go, bro. Three, two, one, lunging. <laughs> <laughs> I had big plans of doing a backflip, but yeah. not that I know how to do one, but I figured you don't have to land this one, so it can't be that hard, but yeah, I uh, got a bit scared, so I just ran up and, and jumped, but um, yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Nice good, view. Good acting, bro. All right, so what's gonna happen? Your feet are gonna go out on the edge? You gotta give yourself some confidence, Jackson. You feel full of confidence, and then you get to the edge, and be like, oh, right. hey, now I've got to live up to the height. Here we go. Three, two, one, height. Nice. Didn't chicken out like Andre, but I also didn't talk a big game of doing a backflip. <laughs> Stuck to what I knew. Seeing the facility and everything with what Tony Quinn and their team have done is amazing. It's a big turnaround. I'm just really glad Supercars recognise the sort of fan base we have here. And I've had so many messages from people saying, you know, I'll be there watching from people I haven't spoken to in years. Per capita, we have a lot of interest in the sport. And I think for New Zealand, they love their V8s. I think everyone as a whole loves going there. So it's very important for the sport and New Zealanders that, um, you know, we have that relationship back up and running. It's always special to get to experience what it's like for the Australian drivers that get to race at home. Every, every time we go racing. I think every time the championship's been to New Zealand, it's been a, a super sort of accepted event. There's a lot of uh, atmosphere and you know, everyone's loving it. So I think that's uh, all in all like a win-win for both, both parties. What's not to love about this place? We'll show those Aussies how it's done. We can't wait to give it some jandle.